one of the ways that um, people figured out that the Earth was probably round was when they saw ships arrive and ships leave. And as they saw ships arrive, they might see in the far off distance um, just the top of a mast. And as the ship got closer, they might see the top of the mast and some more details, perhaps the sail. And as the ship got closer, eventually they'd see more of the ship until as the ship got even closer the whole ship was visible and that helped people good ship right that helped people to understand um, that probably the earth has a round shape to it another way that people um, figured out the earth was round was when they watched um, lunar eclipses if you've ever seen the earth eclipse the moon we start to see um, the moon looking a bit like that and as the earth moves oh, it's a terrible drawing. and as the earth moves over the top more and more of it um, disappears and that's in a round shape if we lived on a disc there's every possibility that we could see a lunar eclipse Oops. that has a shadow on it in the shape of a disc that would be weird wouldn't it another thing you might have noticed if you've ever been on top of especially on top of a tall mountain um, with a view of the ocean is that you can actually see a very subtle curve of the earth probably more, more subtle than my drawing um, and the higher you go up the more obvious that is you might see it a little bit from the beach but um, climb a high mountain and see um, you can see that the earth curves a modern way that we um, you can tell that the earth is round is by picking up the phone and calling someone in another part of the world so my cousins live in um, Perth they live in Perth and if I call them at any time I have to check what time it is um, so that I don't wake them up if I call too early in the morning because as the earth spins the sun hits different parts of it at different times and that's why we have time zones try watching a sunset there are two different ways you can do this get down as low as you can maybe even lie down on your tummy and watch don't look directly at the sun but as soon as that sun disappears stand up if you're very quick you should be able to see um, the light projected that was above your head when you're on your tummy but when you stand up you can see even better if you've got somewhere to climb safely another thing you can do and it's probably safer for your eyes is to look on a building or if you've got a hill near your house that's to the um, east I know that I can see Mount Dandenong from my um, back deck and I can see when the Sun hits Mount Dandenong on a clear day that um, when the sunset hits Mount Dandenong on a clear day that the shadow starts at the bottom and creeps up and the last part of the mountain to have Sun on it as the Sun sets in the west and projects onto the east is the very top of the mountain there's another really good way to do it it's by measuring shadows um, this was done famously by um, a Greek mathematician called Eratosthenes and I'm not going to talk too much about it here because there are plenty of good videos on YouTube I'll put one of those up for you to watch